The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Here's yo daddy. Try the castle with the taco meat, man. It's delicious. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's a book on how to make Mexican martinis. <laughs> I've got the recipe right here. <laughs> Y'all try that. Share it. Daddy's home. Here's yo daddy. We did that in the back of the house. We're on. Hey kids. Welcome. Where am I? Right here. Welcome to the Big Daddy G Show. I'm the Big Daddy G. I don't have a lot of time because we have an awesome band for you. And uh, we want you guys to be able to listen to them as much as you can. So I just have a few things I wanted to bring up. Uh, first of all, tonight is what's called the... Super moon. Ta da! Can we do a close? That's our super moon. In case you're too, um, you can't get outside or you can't get up off the couch. Here it is. That's the super moon. The uh, Native Americans call it the uh, winter moon because it only comes out in February, from what I understand, and that means there's going to be snow. So they called it the winter moon. So there. 
Um, another thing I wanted to tell you guys about, isn't that beautiful though? Golly, y'all need to get outside. This <laughs> is a little guy <laughs> we've had on the show uh, two, three times, and we even used him in a movie called Adios. And his name is Cole Allen, and Cole is now doing a uh, TV show with uh, Jim Carrey, the comedian, on uh, Showtime called uh, Kidding. And guess what? Cole now has his own mask. So let me see if I can do this. Am I doing it the wrong way? I think so. Anyway, so you can buy a Cole mask now, and you can even buy the whole, like a whole thing of Cole. It's called uh, Cole Allen Celebrity Mask from a place called Celebrity Cutouts. So I just thought that Woo! was really cool. Cole, way to go, Cole. I don't have a mask. So, <laughs> all right, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about um, it was that we have a new guest, a new um, addition to the uh, table, and here it is. <laughs> Last night, or yesterday, I think it was yesterday, if I remember correctly, it might have been two days ago, I went to uh, Walmart and I ran into a teacher and she talked me into getting that and uh, so I thought I'd get it. So the cool thing about teachers is if you do something wrong, they make you do it all over again. Hmm. Alright, so Whoa. keep that in mind. Okay, so um, this is just a, something quick that I wanted to do. We don't have a lot of time. There we go. There goes something. Um, this is something, it's a little segment I wanted to do called, um, we can call it man stuff. You know, and it might be stupid to the women that are watching, because uh, but our us men we're not as smart as you guys. So anyway, I love cashews and pecans and Brazilian nuts, uh, or Brazil nuts. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know what they call them there. So, um, so what I've got here is what I do. I go to H E B, and what I do is you know when you buy the cans. You um, you always get a lot of almonds. So this is what you do: you get cashews, pecans, and Brazil nuts, and you put them. You know, of course, you got to buy them separately at their little dispenser things. And then you can put them in a bag. You know, after you get them home, and then you get exactly what you want. So there, I know. All right. So are we going to commercial now? And what what's the commercial? Okay, we'll be right back in about one minute, so hang tight. Take a sip, take a rip, once you live, just double click. It's the Big Daddy G Show. Big Daddy G Show. It's the Big Daddy G Show. <laughs> now type it in, take it in, where do I begin? He's really funny, and he's not really thin. It's the Big Daddy G Show. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. It's the Big Daddy G Show. Um, the band that we have tonight for you, um, it's called the Jonas Lawrence Band, and they are fantastic, and you're going to love them, and if you don't stick around and watch, you're not going to be happy, because you're going to miss a really good show. Okay, so the first guy we're going to bring out, uh, since you guys know that I like to interview all the, uh, the band members, they got five. So uh, we're going to do these interviews really quick. So please uh, don't think I'm trying to rush them out or anything like that. I just want to get all of them in. So the first guy we're going to bring out is Cord Jackson. Please help me welcome Cord Jackson. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So tell me a little bit about Mr. Cord Jackson. Where are you from? I'm from Lampasas. From Texas. Oh, dude, you're not that far away. Nope. Nice. Back and is mom and dad watching, do you know? Uh, 
probably not right now. Probably not. I'm probably yeah. asleep. It's probably asleep. Or partying. Yeah. yeah. My parents are partying. But, um, all right, so what do you play in the band? I play guitar. Guitar? And how long have you been playing guitar? It's about 16 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, cool the, how long, I mean, how old are you? 28. 28, so you've been playing for a while. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, um, is that the first instrument that you learned to play? No, uh, the first instrument I learned to play was drums. Okay. Yeah. Drums, and then uh, my granddad built guitars. Oh, so it was nice, dude. destined nice. in the blood, yeah. Pick that up next. I have a friend named Danny that used to make guitars, and he's he's just in- incredible. So your grandfather, uh, he made guitars for just his friends, or did he sell them, or what name brand did he have, or did he have a name brand? Well, his name was Reed Schaub, and okay. it was Schaub Guitars, S-C-H-A-U-B. Wow. And is he making them still? No, he passed um, six years ago or so. Wow. And the one I'm actually playing tonight is the last one he built. Nice. So we got to yeah. g- make sure we get a close-up of that guitar. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. And um, is he the one that taught you how to play guitar, or how did you learn how to play? Oh, I'm the youngest of three boys. My older brothers played, and uh, a bunch of people in my family play. And so I was around it all my life. Yeah. Uh, and then I just I learned to play by ear and by reading tab, just a way of reading guitar right, music. Right. Um, so it was a lot of watching, uh, trial and error, and never had a teacher, but... Well, the tabs, that's where they, where they show you where to put the, your finger, right, on the, on it's the strings? It's numbers. It's like a number system. Yeah, it's like a number system, yeah. So you number the friends. I actually have been, uh, I haven't been taking lessons. I did go to take uh, lessons at this church one time, and, um, and, dude, they were awesome, you know. So can yeah. somebody tell Tyrone to stop yelling in my ear, please? So anyway. <laughs> okay, so, um, so how long have you been with the band? Uh, I've been around since I guess the beginning, about three years or so. Three years? Yeah. Okay. Just to uh, play uh, when I'm in the neighborhood with the guys. Nice. And how did you get hooked up with them? Uh, everybody in this band has played at some point, I guess except for Mark, the key player, has played for uh, and with a guy named Mark McKinney. Okay. We played. And so some of us met elsewhere, but I think oh, we have all been through that band at one point, so that's kind of our common thread. Nice. So we met and played together through there. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, well, I'm glad you guys are playing because you play awesome. So um, thank you so much for coming, and thank you for sharing your talent with us. We're about to bring in Mr. Tim Tank Casterline. Did I say it right? Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah, I said it right. What's happening? I better say it right. Uh, you'll kill me. Oh, nah. Yeah, I better say it right. All right. So, There's something planned. Should I say it right? just call you Tank? You can call me Tank. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, where are you from, Tank? Uh, I've been living in Austin, Texas since 1981, but I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Wow. We're not telling you. Well, don't tell, we're not telling nobody. Okay. Um, so what brought you to Austin? Uh, my parents. Your parents. And I, they put me in a car and drove me. And drove you here? From L.A. I was a little why, kid still. Why did they come to, to Austin? Uh, man, I guess it was just California, and they just wanted to get away. So, right. Yeah. Wow, but I wonder why they chose Austin, of all places on the planet. My... Uh, Extended family. Um, okay. There, when Bergstrom was still an Air Force base, yeah. and my grandfather worked at that Air Force base, so nice. my mom had family here. Nice. Yeah. Dude, I got a really stupid story for you. I got to tell it real quick. Austin Bergstrom, or Bergstrom Air Force Base, yeah. sold the air, the base to the city of Austin for a dollar. Okay. And the city of Austin couldn't come up with a name for it. So they paid some consultant <laughs> six, I believe it was six hundred thousand dollars, to come up with the name Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Genius, dude! I'd have done it for sixty bucks. You know, I would have, and I'd have brought it to you too. Six hundred, dude! I got to do some consulting work. So, um, what do you play in the band? I'm sorry, here we go. Um, nah, it's all good. I play bass. Okay. And awesome. Okay. Well, that's all we need. Yeah. Next. <laughs> no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. I always kid around with bass players. Um, but you did the heartbeat of the band. Thank you. So yeah. Oh, so guy. why did you choose bass? Of all the instruments you could have played. It looked really cool when nice. I first just started watching my favorite nice. bands. And yeah. I just thought, let's do it. Yeah. Well, do you know the? Um, a lot of people don't know this, but the uh, Seinfeld. You know, do the do intro do on do Seinfeld, do it's all bass. Yeah, man. Yeah. I so there, that. you see? So, um, and you've been playing for how long? 30-something years. Wow. So you were, like, before you were born, you were playing in the womb, or yeah. what, dude? Yeah, I'm only 27. Wow. 
<laughs> wow. Well, you got to love a man with a beard. You know that, right? You guys know that. Okay. So, um, so you live in Austin now, mm-hmm. and you've been playing with the band for how long? Well, Jonas and I go back to 2000, and okay. this is like our third band together. Nice. So he, we're in a band together. He fires me, and then he calls me back, and then he fires me again. Yeah. And so I'm just waiting for the call. <laughs> right. <laughs> you go, I can't work for you guys. I'm waiting for the call. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for Jonas to call. I actually, I don't know. Um, you know, I do a lot of drugs. Oh, so, fun. Um, I, I know that I've met you guys before somewhere. But I don't remember where it was. Do you, do you, have we met before? Probably at a Mexican restaurant. Probably at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I go to Casa Garcia. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, but you know, I'm thinking that where I met you guys was at Marshalls because I think that's when I went and oh yeah. And uh, but do you know I, I um, uh, Tyrone was telling me today. He says, oh, we got uh, uh, the Jonas Band, and I was like, dude, where do I know them from? Where do I know them from? So I just got to do better drugs. Marshall's so, Tavern. That's yeah, a hot Marshall's place right Tavern. There. Oh yeah. I, I just got to do better drugs. That's all yeah, it is. Man. So um, life is short. Any uh, any anything um, that you want to s- or anyone? I'm sorry that you want to say hi to. I want to say hi to my fiance Adrian. Oh. I'm, she's watching right now. Nice. And say hi to my mom. Hi mom. She's uh, up Why? near Cedar Park and oh nice watching. And Dude, can then, she cook? Your mom. My mom. Oh yeah. yeah. The meatloaf. You know. You just that's ma. The, yeah. Please ma. Please. They keep switching the cameras on me. I know. <laughs> Ma, please. Um, actually, a friend of mine made some meatloaf the other day, and it was pretty good. But, dude, I'm always up, you know, for a good home cooked meal. Does she know? Does she make flour tortillas? No, not my mom. I, Ma, I mean, she probably you better, could. You better get on that, Ma. But I have to say that my my fiance's cooking is also super fantastic. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. she takes good care of me. Can you tell? Yeah. What does she do? Well, she's a social worker at, oh, uh, nice. at a hospital, nice. and uh, she is a hard worker. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay, so um, I want to thank you for you know, we we do we have a twelve hundred square foot uh, studio here, and we're running out of room. So Doug, can you break down a wall or something to give us some more room here, Doug? So anyway, Doug's our station manager, Doug Gray. Thank you, Doug. Um, all right, so we're gonna bring in the next guy, yeah. and hit his name is. Matt Borgiorno. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Matt, how you doing, bud? Doing great. Awesome. How about you? Ah. Oh, this chair is comfortable. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, this is actually this chair actually is about 40, 45 years old, and it belonged to my mom, and it's the only thing that I got. Mm. Well, this her living room furniture. It's all really I wanted. So um, you just take it with you wherever you go, then, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. No, we actually uh, we actually have like a gold couch that we bring in also, but it was going to rain oh. today, so we covered this up. Uh, we actually took my uh, we took my motorcycle cover <laughs> and covered it over, and then brought it to the studio because I'm too cheap to buy a damn cover for it. So anyway, all right. So where are you from? Mr. Originally from Spring, Texas. From Spring, Texas, dude. I know where that is. Yep, Klein That's High School. That's um, like northwest of here, right? Northwest of Houston. Of Houston, yeah. okay. Dude, I think I've been in jail there. No. Yeah, I no. think so. It sounds real familiar. <laughs> uh, I'd have to hear the door slam, and then I can tell you. That's how I can tell. But anyway, um, what do you play for the band? Drums. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. And how long have you been playing drums? 23 years. Wow. Wow. And do you play any other instruments? I play piano and guitar. Piano and well. guitar. My wow. first instrument was fiddle, though. Wow. Dude, the other day, I was uh, driving down this road, and there was a guy playing a fiddle on the uh, next to Mopac and some road. I don't know what it was. But, you know, he was like, uh, what is it called? Flying a uh, sign, but yeah. not flying a sign, flying a fiddle. Oh. And um, I was in a real big hurry, and I, so I couldn't uh, stop to talk to him. But I just wanted to stop and I was hoping I'd get a red light so I could listen to him play, you know. Right. But wouldn't that be kind of cool to have somebody like that on the show? Uh, yeah, if he's good. Yeah, I you think know? you should ask if him. If he's good, yeah. I bet he would. So, um, so tell me, wh- so you're from pr- Spring, Texas, and how long yeah. have you been in Austin? Uh, eight years now. Eight years. Nine years now. Nice. I'll take that back. 2010, time nice. flies. And what brought you to, to Austin? Uh, music and okay. construction. Wow. I'm a car- carpenter and uh-huh. contractor. So. Nice, nice. So you, what, do you, what do you build? Like houses Right now or? I'm working on a remodel in okay. San Antonio. So Sounds I drove in for the TV show tonight, and I'll be heading wow. back tomorrow. 
Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for going through all that trouble. Oh, it wasn't um, bad. I've got uh, two minutes and 20 seconds, so we have two minutes and 20 seconds um, to talk to you, just you. Oh. So tell us a little bit about you. I mean, what are some hobbies that you have? Or? Well, definitely cooking, for sure. <sighs> this is my new best friend. <laughs> I want everyone to know. I made a um, delicious uh, snapper tacos last weekend. Wow. So it was a wow. dry rub with hibiscus flowers, uh, yeah. epizote, and oregano, and salt and pepper, lime, zest, and all that. Oh, and you just fry it in oil. Yeah. And uh, made some tacos with some wow. black beans and rice. Have you ever been to a, there's a restaurant on Airport Boulevard called, um, it's a seafood restaurant. I can't remember the name. Tyrone will probably know the name. Uh, quality? quality seafood. Yeah, yeah. quality. I've been oh there a couple times. That's great. Yeah. One of my favorite places right now, though, is Deckhands. Deckhands. I don't know where that where it's is. It's down on Lamar, okay. close to Ben White. Wow, yeah. that's south. Yeah, that's where the south. Outback Steakhouse used to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know that place. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I've been thrown out of there two, three times. <laughs> but um, back when it was, yeah. And also the. Um, they threw you out back? Or what? They threw me out back, yeah. <laughs> There's also a place that was, I don't know if it's still there or not, but there was a Long John Silver's I got thrown out of there. Dang. Um, so, well, you know, if it says all you can eat, you know, um, they can't throw you out. Cause, there shouldn't you know, be a limit on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I took care of some business out in the car. You know, I smoked an herbal cigarette and um, and went in and, dude, we just ate, you know. And they're like, and then they told us, you know, you have to go. <laughs> you can't stay here. You got to go. So anyway, so we that ended up leaving. That is fun. I've, I've been asked to yeah. leave buffets before, yeah. too. So. <laughs> yeah. I know I look small, but yeah. I can eat a lot in one city. Oh, I, dude. Gotta, you know. I used to have a friend that could eat like crazy. So, <laughs> all right. So, um, kids, um, are we doing a, we're going to a commercial or what, Tyrone? Going to a clip. Okay. So um, we have a new sponsor, which is down here uh, at this table down here. Um, so, uh, kids, we have a new sponsor, it's Stovetop, it's a little messed up, but you'll, Stovetop Cornbread Stuffing Mix, now with Viagra. <laughs> so, <laughs> now making it on the stovetop just got a lot more fun. <laughs> and we'll be right back, stay with us. What's that great smell? Chicken, oh yeah, and stovetop stuffing. Your mom is making stovetop? Instead of potatoes? The celery, the onions, and all that great stuff. Think I could stay? Sure. Mom, can I eat it to me? Yes, but we're having chicken in stovetop. What time? Eight. What time are you eating? Six, I think. Hello, Mom. You can never get enough stovetop stuffing instead of potatoes. And to make as little or as much as you want, try stovetop in the canister. Billy, like to stay and have dinner with us? What are you having? Chicken. Just chicken? Chicken with potatoes. Or stovetop stuffing? Stuffing? I'm staying. Stovetop stuffing and chicken. It's one meal really worth staying for, because stovetop stuffing instead of potatoes tastes terrific. You know, I'm free for dinner tomorrow night, too, Mrs. Freeland. You don't say. <laughs> stovetop stuffing instead of potatoes. Ask your family. Huh? What? Oh, we're on. Hey, kids, we're back. Uh, you have um, fallen into the Big Daddy G uh, web, and um, we're here to um, entertain you, whether you like it or not. So, the next guy we're bringing in, his name is Mark Ramsey. I must admit, the local cantina, they treat me like a king. I don't ask for much, just a drop of cool touch. y'all can tell but we're like twins yeah see that it works we're it's like working twins. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um mr mark where are you from man i've been in austin or somewhere close to austin all my life okay i was born here so so you're born in austin mm -hmm. oh dude a native <laughs> yeah a native. very few our um, uh, directors are native. is there anybody in the crew that's a native also Tay Tay, yeah. our stage manager is uh, <laughs> native, and a Scorpio. Me and Tay Tay have the same uh, birthday. We're twins. So yeah, we're twins. <laughs> we're born the same Except I got too. bigger boobs. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so what do you play? Play keyboards. Oh, nice. And how long have you been playing keyboards? Mm. 
I don't know. It's been over 50 years now. So. 50 years? Yeah. And um, do you do anything else besides play for this band? Uh, I'm playing in other bands. In other bands town. also? So, got, uh, if I could tell you one of them real quick, sure, I play in Departure ATX, and we've okay. got a lot of Journey covers. And nice. Do some Van Halen and Foreigner stuff too. A lot of early 80s, late 70s rock. Nice. Dude, the other day I was listening to uh, Journey. I hadn't heard it in a long time. And uh, I was listening to some Journey music. And um, dude, it just you know it takes you back. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know. Some of the music nowadays, you know, oh my God, I can't believe they're listening to that stuff. You know, oh my Kids God. But days, huh? dude, if you, um, I was in a car with my uh, son, my oldest son, and he says, uh, he says, see, Dad, he, there was a song playing on the radio, and he says, see, Dad, if you, if you would just listen to music like this, I would listen to your to your music. You know, as in, hold on. So I stopped the car got in the trunk and pulled out my old uh, CD from a band named Bread. I'm probably yeah. too young to remember Bread. David Gates. Yeah. But yeah, and I played that in. I said, see, that's not your music, you know? That's music from a long time ago, so. Lots of major seven chords. Yeah. Oh. So one of my favorite songs from them is called uh, Aub Aubrey. Is it Aubrey or Audrey? I'm not, not recognizing that title. It's a, well, it's a beautiful song. So I'm going to learn to play it, and then I'll cool. play it for you guys on the show. <laughs> no, but anyway, um, so you, uh, so you've been playing with this band for how long now? Well, I met Jonas. I think it's been about four years. Okay. We were in another band together. Okay. Hit it off right away. I always nice. like playing with him, and nice. so I get to play some of their gigs, not all of them. Nice. And I got to play on his album, Back to Texas. Nice. Did a lot of keyboard work on that. So nice. Well, every time I get to play with him, it's great. Do we have a copy of that album by any chance? Well, maybe we can get one and we can show it to the to the kids out there. So, um, any do you have any kids? Yeah, I've got four kids. Four kids. I've are got they nine grandkids? Tonight? How many grandkids? Nine. Wow. So my kids are older and married and got their own wow. kids now. So, uh, I I told them on Facebook, so I don't know mm -hmm. if they're watching. Maybe they are. We'll say hi. <laughs> hi, kids. Dad's on TV. Hey. <laughs> wow. After this, cover of the Rolling Stone, right? That's right. All right. On the cover <laughs> of the Rolling Stone, man. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, do you? So you do? Uh, you play with other bands, but you don't mm -hmm. do anything else. You don't do make no, tables just sit around, or yeah. you know. No. Actually, I, I do a lot of teaching. I teach piano, drum, and guitar lessons. Oh, nice, and nice. Playing bands on the weekends. Nice. So. And how would somebody contact you if they wanted to learn how to play? Uh, uh, Piano, drums, or you guitar. could email me at Mark Ramsey at Mark Ramsey Music dot com. So okay. I kind of made that easy. See? Okay, the whole name thing, you know. So Mark Ramsey dot com. If you want to learn how to it's play, Mark Ramsey Music dot com. Mark Ramsey Music dot com. Uh, um, if you want to learn how to play piano, guitar, or drums. Mm -hmm. Nice, dude. Nice. Okay, so kids, we are going to bring Mr. Jonas Lawrence out right. next. Um, he is the leader of the band, and we always save them for the very end because we usually don't have a whole lot of time for you yeah, at the very end. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Jonas Lawrence. Hey. Look at that. All right. Look at that. He's wearing macadamia nuts. that. <laughs> Dude, I got to tell you a story. Um, this here was sent to me by a, a really good friend of mine named Andy. He lives in Maui. Oh, wow. And he told me to put it on the refrigerator. It's got a magnet. And does that work there? No, it won't work there. And so I keep that. But I got, I'll tell you something about these. See how those are brown? Yeah, yeah. So that's what the natives uh, wear in Hawaii. Yes. Now these black ones, um, when he first gave them to me, I was like, that son of a, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe he, you know, did he find these or what? But it turns out that only royalty ah. in the Hawaiian Islands was allowed to wear the black I macadamia see. nuts. That's so cool. isn't that cool? Yeah. So now I wear them. I take a shower with them. I sleep with them. I everything. I do everything. Wow. With them. I yeah. cook. Yeah. No, don't let. Do you have dogs? No, you don't have dogs. Okay. No. Well, don't let your dogs near macadamia nuts. It does <laughs> not agree with them. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just tell you that. So uh, okay. So Jonas, where are you from? Uh, right here, Austin, and Houston before that. Okay. But were you born in Austin? No. Okay. So you're not a native. No. He's not no, a native, no. so hold the applause. Sorry, He's not guys. a native. <laughs> no. So uh, you were born in Houston? Uh, Akron, Ohio. Actually. Wow. Yeah. And what moved you to Houston? I mean, mom and dad? Or well, what? we um, 
it was kind of a crazy childhood. So uh, as soon as I was born, um, then we moved down to Florida. We got on a boat and sailed through, um, sailed through the islands and stuff. And then uh, when they got tired of that, then they moved over to Houston and then uh, lived there and, and kind of did my thing there and then got up here as fast as I could. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, we're glad you're here, dude. Um, I actually saw you guys playing at Marshall's. A long, That's right. It's been a while back, I think. Um, I wasn't kidding earlier when I said I do a lot of drugs, <laughs> and I don't remember. Um, I don't remember a lot of stuff because, well, when you get older, kids, you're gonna realize that um, a lot of stuff doesn't really matter. Everything that you you know put so much. Oh my God, this is you know, dude, hey, it's not, it's not that big there. of a deal, yeah. you know. And people put so much energy into stupid stuff. Dude, I just have a good time. Yeah. You know, I don't hurt nobody, and uh, I don't drive drunk or high or anything, and I have a good time. And I always have a driver, and so I don't have to worry about that. But um, how long have you been playing? Um, it's probably about 20 years or so. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Quite a while. And, and who was it in your family that played or, or said, nobody. hey, dude, but nobody in no. your family played instruments? Mm-mm. Wow. Well, my grandfather played the violin. Oh, nice. Yeah, but nice. Uh, he never really played it when I was a kid, so. Wow. Yeah. Was he? Did you ever hear him play it? No. Wow. But I have the violin now. Oh, I nice. have it. It's like from 1905. Nice. And it's in the closet, but yeah. I have and do you a, know how to play it? No. Well, he does. I know. <laughs> he knows how to play. you got to bust it out sometime. Yeah. We're going to bring it to the show next week. Nice. So, now, I remember a long time ago, um, somebody told me that you guys would play at Marshall's on Thursday or something like that? Yeah, that's where what we started. It? We started doing, um, we were all in different bands and stuff, and I just, I had this passion project. I'm a parrot head, uh -huh. and so I, I love that kind of lifestyle and stuff. I've always wanted to do an album like that. Right. And so, um, we, uh, me and Tim went in the studio, and we just started putting putting this thing together. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a little bit rocking, but it was a little bit beachy and stuff, and I'd, I'd never uh, really knew anybody else was doing it. Yeah. But once we uh, once we got that CD out, then uh, some of the the bars like Marshalls would mm -hmm. you know book us on a you know an off night. Right. And so that's kind of where we got started. We just started doing it, and then we started meeting other people that were kind of into that kind of music, and then we just sort Man. of followed that path. Well, dude, I'm going to tell you something, and I'm not blowing smoke up anybody's skirt or anything, but um, I've met a lot of musicians in my lifetime. Is she okay? Are you okay? Somebody fell over Did there. Did somebody pass out? You no, know, I think she just kind of fell a little bit. You all right? Okay. You dude, can drink um, in here, right? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I can. Take it outside. But anyway, um, what I was going to say was that one thing I noticed about you well, that I've seen you on stage is that um, you really enjoy... Oh yeah! Playing, oh yeah! You absolutely! Know? Yeah, you got and, to enjoy it. Um, and I, I see stuff like that, and I notice stuff like that. And sometimes we have what's called, I think we call them stingers or something like that, where we'll have people just play something for us, mm -hmm. you know. And then later, if we have time at some other show, we just throw it in, like on a more to come. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this guy, I believe I might be wrong, but this guy, I believe, would play even if you didn't pay him. Pretty much. Play. So it's happened. Um, yeah. So he just enjoys it. Mm -hmm. So, all and right, we do have CDs, and we do have we CDs. We do have CDs. There we go. If somebody has, if somebody yeah. wants to grab one over there, they're sitting on that okay. that table or that little chair right there. We have okay. three CDs and well, a T-shirt. Dude, we're going to go. Um, what am I doing? You're gonna hold the CD. I'm gonna hold the CD. Okay. So here's right. the CD, and oh, we got three of them. We got three of them. So can we do a close-up of these? I'm gonna see if I can do this. Camera three. Oh, here. I gotta get in front of my ducks. Yeah. I got ducks in a row. Okay, so we got a close up. There we go. And where can they get these? Uh, at our shows. Okay. So you guys gotta look these guys up. Yeah, They're really good. JonasLawrence.com. Yes. J O N A S L O R E N C E. And then that's got the full schedule there. You can see us anywhere, all over Texas and beyond. There you go. Kids, we'll be right back. Hang tight. Take a sip, take a rip, once you live, just double click, it's the Big Daddy G Show. Big Daddy G Show. It's the Big Daddy G Show. <laughs> now type it in, take it in, where do I begin? He's really funny, and he's not really thin, it's the Big Daddy G Show. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. It's the Big Daddy G Show.
Vanavond topmodel Singing on Ice. Maar nu eerst Man with Talent. Texas, uh, hanging out. I was just looking for my beer, but I don't know where it's at. But we do have a margarita ready to go. You guys ready for some margarita music? All right, it goes like this. I don't have a big car or a fancy TV. No gourmet meals or caviar for me. 
Don't have an expensive taste for rare vintage wine. There's only one drink that's mine, all mine. I'm not a rich man, as you can see. None of that really matters much to me. Here's why I got to Margarita with my name on it. I get a big kick. The local cantina, they treat me like a king. I don't ask for much, just a tropical touch. So give me my tequila with a slice of lime. But there's nothing better in life you will find. I don't have a big mansion with a security guard. No exotic beast roaming in my backyard. Never had a swimming pool or life a luxury. No sailboats with thoughts of float on the sea. I'm just a simple man, as you can see. But there is only one prize that means the world to me. Here we go! Got to Margarita with my name on it. I get a big kick. I must get in at the local canteen. They treat me like a king I don't ask for much Just a tropical touch So give me my tequila With a slice of lime There's nothing better In life you will find Here we go! Corporate jet to fly around the globe. I don't have a team of lawyers or a dozen silk roads. I lost my gold watch and now I'm late. But there's a happy hour right here at eight. I'm not a millionaire, as you can see. And none of that really matters much to me. Here we go. I got to Margarita. With my name on it, I get a big kick. I must admit, at the local cantina, they treat me like a king. I don't ask for much, just a tropical touch. So give me my tequila with a slice of lime. There's nothing better in life you will find. So give me my tequila. With the slice of life There is nothing better In life you will find Here we go You guys feeling good out there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we got another one. This one's called Sand Gravity. It's on the uh, it's on the Key West CD over there. And uh, if you don't know what Sand Gravity is, look it up on the internet. You'll figure it out. It goes like this. Sit on the coast with nothing to lose. 
This one's called Beach Town. This will be our last song for the evening. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is on the Peace Signs and Coastline CD. It goes like this. Well, it's the middle of July now, and the sun is beating down. We got a million miles to go soon, oh, but we'll never turn around. Summer's gone like a thief. 
me get in front of Mike. Okay, hi. Doug Gray, I need a, what are they called, labs? <coughs> okay, uh, where are you guys going to be playing next? We are at Uncle Gary's this uh, Saturday night. Uncle Gary's in Pflugerville. Okay, and where, whereabouts is that, Uncle Gary's? Oh, Lord, if you don't know where Uncle Gary's is, you probably shouldn't go there. <laughs> He's on. It, it's a, you you got to pay to get on the toll road to go over there, but it's like it's like a. I don't know how you would describe that, but it's Upper Pflugerville. Where? North of Kelly Lane. North of Kelly Lane in Pflugerville. Okay. And after that, where are you guys playing? Oh Jesus! I never. Th I never think that too far in advance. Uh, oh, we got a big show uh, with our buddies, the Detentions, and that's at Hanover's on March second, and that's always a lot of fun. If you haven't seen the Detentions, you got to check them out. They're our good friends. And uh, can I get somebody to bring me the CDs up here? And uh, where can they get your music? Let's go ahead and tell them we have, uh, we still have about a minute. iTunes. Just go, uh, if you get on iTunes, you can, uh, all you got to do is just uh, search Jonas Lawrence, J-O-N-A-S. L-O-R-E-N-C-E. Search iTunes. You can also search CD Babies. But, you know, you can't buy CDs at Target anymore. You can't buy them at Best Buy. you got to come to the shows. And that's where you get the best deal, too. We'll give you a discount. That looks good. They also work like that, too, and you one know. One more. There you go. <laughs> Which is the latest one? Uh, okay, so what we did is, uh, that's our first one, Peace Signs and Coastlines. Okay. And then uh, that's the second one. And then this one is kind of a compilation with a handful of new stuff and old stuff kind of mixed in. But this is the latest one right this there. This is the latest yep. one. All right. Dude, there's a boogie's got parrots. <laughs> there's parrots on there. You know where that's at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've, um, I've partied with a lot of people. I, I just want to clear something up. Any drug I do is made by God, not by man. <laughs> Any drug I do is made by God, not by man. So before you guys start writing me and complaining, I just want to let you guys know that. Dude, I can't see the clock. Okay. We got another song if you want. Well, we have 15 seconds. Oh, okay. Um, kids, thank you for joining us right. tonight. The Jonas Lawrence Band. You gotta come watch them. Um, they're awesome. Well, you just saw them live. Watch them live. We'll be back. We'll be back next week. Peace. I hope what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. I hope what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show, The Big Daddy G Show. Hi ho, what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show, The Big Daddy G Show, The Big Daddy G Show. Here's your daddy. <laughs>